Well, folks, good morning, and welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. You know, this is episode two of our pandemic shortened issue, shortened season, I should say, of YA TV. Today, we're jumping in the boat with my Captain Gary and Captain Adrian Souza, and we are heading about a half hour down the coast here in the Yucatan to what they call the Carbonatas. We're gonna go see if we can catch some fish. So y'all stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar and Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Well folks, we're launching out of Chubinaw Porto here this morning. We're gonna take about a half hour ride down the coast to Las Garbanadas. So we've entered the Carbonatus. It's actually only about a 15 minute ride out of Chubrana. So we're just kind of trolling our Yozerti crystal minnows through this little canal here comes in off the ocean, getting a few smacks, seeing some rollers. We're gonna troll all the way down, see if we can pick one up, troll it, and then we'll come back up and do some casting. Ooh, little piccuda. Not quite what we're after, but we got us a little barracuda this morning. So yeah, that little RL, that little jack is about as big as that, that Cozzurdi. Ah, jeez. All right, one to one, Gary. One to one. Well, we've really caught this area with a super low tide, which inhibits us from getting way back into the back and. This is about three or four foot down this tide. So normally there's a lot of snook through this little stretch that we're in and even tarpon, Adrian's saying. So we're just gonna take a little trip, we'll say near shore. We're gonna do a little trolling out there, see if we can catch some amberjack, barracuda, and well, just whatever else wants to hit our lure. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna keep on fishing. Well, it was kind of tough. So listen, I just wanna take a quick minute and talk about some of the gear that we we're using. First of all, our rod and reels. We want to thank Eagle Claw, one of our fine sponsors. This is the seven foot EC 2.5 medium heavy. This is a great rod. We've caught up to 50 pound tarpon on this all the way down to our little one pound trout. Really light, you can throw this all day long. The fishing line we use is of course Yozerti Super Braid. This is 30 pound test. And the floral carbon is a 40 pound uh, floral from Yozerti. Today I was throwing the Yozerti shrimp this is a diving shrimp Gary was throwing the crystal minnow the, the yellow if you want to call it that these are really really effective but well folks welcome back to Yucatan anglers TV I'm your host Randy Bowser we are day two here in Las Carbonadas actually one week apart last week when we were here as you just seen we caught this in a really really low tide so I gave it a week. We found a super calm day, exactly seven days away, and a good high tide. Although the tide's just starting to go out. So we're gonna try to get back into what we call the Ojo de Agua, it's a natural spring. I wanna show this off to you folks and hopefully we can get back in there to the show you. And then we're gonna make our way back out to the front. We're gonna throw for some snook, possibly tarpon, barracuda, whatever wants to hit our line. Oh, 
but we're making our way back into the backwaters of Los Carbonatas, trying to make our way to the Ojo de Agua, the natural spring. And boy, I tell you what, you can see just how shallow this big crab, big high mouth. Look at that big crab. Cool. I mean, we are in less than a foot of water and this big old panga boat's just making its way right back through here. Hopefully, we don't have to get out and push. So, super skinny water here, y'all. But we've made it back here to the entrance of the Ojo de Agua, but what's kind of scary is, in this sand, I'm seeing the tails of the crocodiles and their feet. Like, here's one right here. I don't know if y'all can see that with the camera. That was a rock and that was a crocodile. Huh, okay. This might be interesting. Where's the crocodile at, I wonder? We're going right in there. I can't believe we're actually getting back up in here, man. <laughs> How does this boat actually get through here? It's crazy. So, we've made it back into here, which just blows me away that this boat can fit back through here. And uh, Adrian says, here's the Camino. <laughs> yeah. You see the, you see the wood Camino right here? So we've got to be quick because the tide's going out and we don't want to get stuck back in here, obviously. So yeah, this is like trekking through the mangroves here to get back to this spring. And Adrian just said from where we are right now, it's another 10 minute walk. And the mosquitoes are killing me. So I think we're gonna call this trip and just call this a little mango trip, head back, see if we can cast in some of the deeper water, see if we can get out of here. Next time, y'all, next time. <laughs> What'd you think of that, Gary? <laughs> kind of loco? <laughs> Que bonito este lugar. This is a beautiful space, but boy, I tell you what, we walked 10 minutes and it was another 10 minutes to get back in through these mangroves and that's just a little intense for a morning hike. And we wanna see if we can go catch some fish. So, like I said, another time, folks, we will uh, make our way back into there. Doubtful. folks welcome back to Yucatan English TV I have a surprise for you we're three days into the future right now when we were here and filming we had a total different ending to the program but I couldn't let the Ojo de Agua win so we have came back out here we've gotten into this little tiny boat as you can see and we're gonna go up the creek all the way to the spring. I'm gonna see what kind of, there's, there might be some tarpon in here. There's lots of mojada pintas, good size ones. So let's make our way back into here and let's see what it looks like.
Oh, hi, Mr. White Pelican. How are you doing? That's the Canadian pelican there that migrate here for the winter. So this is pretty gnarly, y'all. We made it back into here. I could not imagine walking through all of that to get here. Very cool, that's a lot of water coming up from underneath of here. Gnarly. Very cool. Que bueno, huh? Que bueno. <laughs> well folks, if you don't know what that is, that is a giant termite's nest. Here in the Yucatan, the termites build their nests above ground. You also see one right up there. It said if you're camping in the wild and you run across those, if you break off pieces of that, put it on the campfire, it'll actually keep the mosquitoes away. Well folks, that was pretty cool. We made our way back here to the spring, finally made it back here. Beautiful, beautiful space. Now I can see why a lot of the kayakers like to make the way back into here and swim in that spring. Although, you know, with the th threat of crocodiles back being back through here, I don't know if I'd jump into there. But I tell you what, coming up through here, there are a lot of mangrove snapper all through this creek. So I brought some shrimp along and one of my smaller rods. We're gonna see if we can uh, see if we can pull out some lunch. All right, so gotten out of the boat. I'm gonna trek just right over here. I see a whole bunch of those mojadas right there. Got me some shrimp on. mangrove snapper if you can see that cute little fish yummy tasting fish another way oh there he goes well we've made our way out of the mangroves back out here to the entrance of the Carbonatas. We're gonna do some trolling through the, the canal over here. Where last week we caught a little jack and a, and a barracuda. We're gonna see if we can catch, catch some fish for y'all today. Got the Yozertis on. Looks like there's a lot of Looks like there's a lot of jacks right in this area. A lot of, a lot of popping, a lot of rolling. Let's see if we can get one of these guys to hit. Oh. Smack a doodle. Well, folks, thanks for joining us here on Yucatan Anglers TV. 
I'm really, really psyched that we were able to get back into the, uh, to the Ojo de Agua, they call it, the spring, the natural spring. Got a couple of little mojadas, a little mangrove snapper. You know, the fishing down here, as fishy as it looks, I was really hoping it was gonna be much better. Unfortunately, there's a lot of net fishing that goes on in the first part of the carbonatas there and they, they really take a lot of fish out and it's really kind of sad to see that, but you know, we can only do what we can. So, we're gonna do one more episode for our season three of Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan Mexico Inshore Fishing Television. Y'all stay tuned, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. Adios. Three, two, one. Well, folks, good morning. Welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV. This is our pandemic shortened season three. Gary, are you, are you aiming it up here? You gotta, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't want to show my balls. <laughs> <laughs>